Welcome back, boys and girls, and thank you for tuning in to number patterns and exploring different number patterns. In the last video, we spoke about the three types of patterns that we're probably going to be watching for in this section, and that's repeating patterns, growing patterns, and shrinking patterns, okay? So right now we have a few questions. If you haven't seen that video on the three different types of patterns, feel free to go back and look at it, but we're moving forward here with a video on number patterns. So here we are. First question, boys and girls. We're going to start at the number four because this is how we describe our number patterns. We're going to start at the number four and we're going to add eight each time to create our pattern. So I'm going to put a text box here and we want to write the first six terms in our patterns, okay? So here we go. So we start at four. We're given that. Next, add eight each time. So if we add eight to the number four, we get 12. Good. Next, add eight each time, boys and girls. So the next one would be 20. Good. Then we have 28. Eight more is 36. And the last one, boys and girls, for this pattern, 44. And this can go on and on and on. But we're just writing the first six terms of our pattern. So we'll just put a couple dots there. And that's what our pattern looks like when we can describe it by looking at it and saying we start at the number four and we add eight each and every time. And there's our first six terms of our pattern. So let's have a look at this pattern here. And again, remember, we need to focus on describing patterns, not always creating the patterns because we'll get the patterns they'll be given to us and we just have to be able to find similarities differences be able to describe them using words which is a big big part of mathematics it's not just about numbers using the right language so how are the following patterns alike and how are they different so we look at our first pattern 6 12 18 24 and 30 our next pattern is 60 120 180, 240, and 300. First, let's look at how these patterns are alike. So we have 6, 12, 18. So we have the number 6, then it goes to the number 12, and the number 18. What are we starting to notice about this pattern? It's a growing pattern because it gets bigger and it increases in a predictable way because we know each and every time we have to add six. That's right. So our first number six, we add it to get 12, and then we add it again to get 18, add it again to get 24, and so on. So our second pattern, 60, 120, 180, 240. So what do we need to do to get our second number in our pattern? We start with 60, that's right. If you said add 60, we get 120. And then we add 60 to that to get 180. And then 60 to that number to get 240 and so on. So boys and girls, the patterns are alike because first, there's five terms in each pattern. So we have five numbers in each one. And in each pattern, see the first pattern starts with a 6. And we always add the 6 to get the next number. And in the next pattern, it starts with 60, but we always add 60 to the next numbers to get the number after that. So we add 6 to 12, gives us 18. We add 60 to 60, gives us 120. We add 60 to that, gives us 180. So we always use the first number, add it to the next, add it to the next to continue our pattern. So that's how they're alike. There's five terms, and we always add the first number to the next number to give us our pattern. How are they different? Well, in our first pattern, we add the number six to get our next number, and in the second number, our second pattern, we have to add 60. So that's how they're different. Now, the most important part, boys and girls, our text box first, write the pattern rule for each one. So we've already said it, so you know it already, so do it with me here. The rule for the first pattern, very simple. We said it starts at 6. And what do we do after that? We add 6 each time. Good. So that's what we have to do for that one. 
start at six, add six each time, and that's how we get our pattern. Let's move on to our next one. And next one, remember, we start at 60, and that's given to us. And what did we have to do each time? We add 60 each time. So boys and girls, the most important part, using words to describe our patterns, that's what we're going to focus on for this section. I hope this helps you understand what you're doing there at home. There are more videos on exploring number patterns. Remember the three types of patterns. You're repeating patterns, growing patterns, shrinking patterns. Thank you for tuning in. This is Mr. G signing out one more time, boys and girls. We'll see you soon.